Hello, and welcome to the second episode of How Is It? And uh, this time I'm going to be playing the novelist. And let me just pull up my timer here. <coughs> like I did my other one. Well, actually, no, not like I did my other one. Uh, I'll be playing games for about half hour to about maybe an hour, depending how much I'm into it. Uh, I bought this one from uh, hum uh, uh, Humble Bundle. Humble Bundle. Yeah, I said it right. Um, uh, they're doing <coughs> uh, like a big sale kind of deal for like two weeks. And I think this was like a, a, I think a couple bucks. So I picked this up, and it seemed interesting. I have, I saw a trailer, but I still don't really know what it's about. Um, but it looked kind of neat, so picked it up. Where the hell's the clock? There it is. All right, I'll set it for thirty minutes first. Alright, and I already messed with the options, so we should be good there. Alright, let's go. New game. I won't be able to see you, so say how to say it. What am I, like a ninja living in their house? Sure. The novelist. This is it. Wow, look at this place. Still can't believe the deal we got. Where's my room? Right up there, buddy. What what am I? What am I emerging from? Move the letter <coughs> on the dining room table and press it by reading space. Mr. Kaplan. <coughs> Welcome to your home for the summer. We're very excited to have you. This is one of our most popular properties, and I'm sure you and your family will have a memorable visit. We have booked you through August 31st. Your security deposit has cleared, and our cleaning service freshened up everything on Saturday. You can buy groceries at McClendon's in town, and if you like to eat dinner out, there are quite a few restaurants on Meridian Avenue, just off Fairview. If you have any questions, or if you run into any trouble at all, please don't hesitate to call Pete Fuller, Hanager Rendles, Sydney Bluffs, Oregon. <gasps> They're an organ. I'm an organ. Look at the light fixture and press space. Possess. Why am I possessing light? What am I? The Kaplans can't see you while you're possessing a light fixture, so possession is the safest way to explore. You can jump from one light fixture to another in order to move the house unseen. The office. Six days later. That was a tutorial. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> Your goal in each chapter is to figure out the dilemma facing Dan and decide how he should resolve the situation. Each member of the family desires a different outcome, and it's up to you to, desi to decide which path to take. If you remain undetected and learn the desires of more than one character, you can uncover compromises that will help the family. Writer's Block. Day one, Writer's Block. Turn to the office. 
is upstairs for a clue. Writer's block. I can't believe I just wrote that. Writer's block. There, again. Those two words are apparently the only damn thing I can write. I don't think it's been this bad since high school. Mr. Holder's class, an essay about Faulkner. Dan Kaplan, little-known author of Tramer's Way and Windsong, has run out of steam. Closed my eyes last night and saw a literary register article about myself. And that was the first line. Paul wants three chapters next week, and so far I've got 2,000 words so sloppy I can barely read them. I cannot blow my schedule. Paul said Grofield's been very clear about what comes next if I keep slipping deadlines. Why did this happen as soon as we got here? This was supposed to simplify things, but so far it's been nothing but staring at a blank page. <sighs> Maybe a walk will help. Or a long drive. Or a drink. Each character has a number of writings or drawings to discover. You found one of Dan's. <clears throat> now that you know what's troubling him, you just search the house for him to discover more about his dilemma. Look for Dan in the upstairs bedroom. When you look at a character, you can press space to see what they're thinking about. remembering specific moments from the past. You have the ability to explore his memories to learn about the current chapter. Approach Dan from behind and press space to enter his memory. What am I? Now that you've entered Dan's memory, you can explore it freely. Follow the sounds to locate different moments that are on his mind. When you find a specific moment, press space to uncover more about what's tr troubling Dan in this chapter. You can exit Dan's memory whenever you wish, and can return to it any time by approaching him from behind and pressing space. Follow the sound to discover memories. Do you think coming here will help? Do you think coming here will help? It has to. It has to. It has to. Oh, come on. Do you think coming here will help? Tommy rode into town with me today. Oh. He saw some kids his age playing on the swings at the park, and I could tell he wanted to go play with them. It got me thinking. Did we swing the pendulum too far just to get him away from those bullies? Kids can bounce back quick sometimes. What if this is the worst thing we could have done? Then he asked how Daddy's book was going, and without even thinking, I said, Great, my man. Felt awful right away. It's a white lie, sure, but why not be honest? When he was younger, he was just a bundle of physical needs, but now he's like a mental, emotional sponge. He's around Linda and me all the time, and I can see him changing every day in a thousand small ways. That scares the hell out of me. What am I teaching him with a white lie? So, you moved your entire family. 
Because your kid was having trouble with bullies? <clears throat> I don't know. You have found all the moments in this character's memory. You can come back and re-examine them at any time, or you can exit and explore other characters' memories. Dan, we're back! Hi, Mom. Now that Linda and Tommy are home, you should look for their clues, discover what's on their minds, and explore their memories. Please remember to stay out of their sight and use possession to keep from alerting the Kaplans. If you remain undetected, you can learn additional opportunities to influence their story. Is he gonna move? <clears throat> Is he gonna move? Can't be me. shows no sign of, ser of a serious learning disorder, so the most important thing is to be patient and supportive. Make sure he does his reading exercises each day in a calm, loving environment. Make sure not to show disappointment when he struggles, which he will at first. Show encourage encouragement when he succeeds, as self-confidence is critical at this age. If he fails to make progress with these exercises I've included, you may want to take him to a local pediatrician for further recommendations. I hope this is of, uh, of some help. I look forward to seeing Tommy this September. Mrs. McMillan. In a man's voice. <gasps> oh. I thought I said you've been discovered. You discovered enough about this character to find out how they want to resolve this chapter. Read their thoughts to learn how you can help them. Just keep it together. things. Is school still taking up all of your time or is anything new going on? We've been up here for a week or so and I can already tell it's going to be great for painting. There are hardly any distractions and this house has a room they called the conservatory in the brochure which really just means it has a lot of windows. Whatever they call it, it's a great space for working. The second floor blocks most of the northern light but I'll manage. I took Tommy down to the beach today and you should have seen how excited he was. I wish I'd brought my camera. He kept looking back up at the house like he couldn't believe it was so small from down there. He seems to have taken to this place really well so far, which is such a load off our minds. We didn't know what to expect, but so far, so good. Anyway, let me know how things are going. Yours, Linda. <coughs> Having fun? Uh-huh. Oh, Okay. Where are they at? Are they down here? Ooh. While possessing a light fixture, you can press E to make the light flicker. This will cause all nearby characters to investigate light fixture for a short period of time. Use this ability to lure characters away from areas you wish to explore. see a
maybe we can play Psh, later. Psh. Oh, not on top of him. Here we go. I'm going to possess you, child. We'll have to find out. Are there any other kids? We'll have to find out. Here we go. Paul, good to hear from you. Listen, things are taking a little longer than expected. I feel good about this one, but I haven't quite brought some of the threads together. It's just an execution hiccup, not a lack of ideas. This is the most complicated book I've ever tried to write, and let's just say I have a newfound respect for guys like Dickens and Joyce who can juggle ten threads at once without getting lost. I'm figuring some of this stuff out the hard way, I guess you could say. Anyway, the outline I sent you is still good, those are still the beats, those are still the themes I plan to explore. I'll keep you posted, Dan. No distractions here. Just us. I think we've done a good job of putting on happy faces for Tommy. If he knows there's something wrong, he's not showing it. We told him this is just a fun family vacation, and he seems to like it here so far. But this might be it for Dan and me. Neither one of us has said the word yet, but I know it's right there under the surface. We've been dancing around it. I can't even bring myself to write the word here. Writing it would be almost as bad as saying it, because once it's there, it becomes real. A thing we have to deal with. I'm not ready for that yet. We agreed to make this a fresh start. I meant it, I think he did too. Now we just have to treat each day like a new beginning. <coughs> Me too. Me too. Me too. Damn it. I promise. Me too. Me too. Me too. I promise. 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 I promise. Me too. Me too. I promise. Me too. Me too. I promise. Me too. Me too. Me too. I promise. Me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. That was fun. Hey. What about the? Where's my notebook? To choose this character's outcome, find the object in blue text and select it. You can continue exploring the house if you'd like to discover what the other characters want to do. The character's desired object can be viewed by pressing tab. Okay. I'm faster. I just changed that bulb. Meow. Still make it work. Yes, you can. Show the benefit of, uh... Uh... Like Bitch, flick her away. Hmm. The light again? Yeah, again. Pick more canvases or store any more time? Bitch. 
We could have a bottle of wine. Mm, put that on the to-do list. Block. So, uh, because of the problem with the marriage oh. or something. I'm gonna win this time. Okay, where's this kid's room? Cars, car backpack, racing Roger. Okay. Uh, literally nothing in that kid's room. Nothing in that little poops room. Huh? Oh! Uh oh. Oh, it's the kid. What do I gotta do? Where's the last clue? Where's the clue for the kid? Is it in here? It's in here. I can't. I don't. See it. I read that one. Is there a, a drawing on the fridge? You know what? Fuck what the kid wants. We're gonna get some boozing and we're gonna get some 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 stuff. No, go. Selecting the wise will Wine will choose Linda's resolution for this chapter. Dan and Tommy will be disappointed. However, if you're if you're discovered, <coughs> Dan or Tommy's desired outcome and haven't and haven't spooked them, you will be able to find a compromise with each with, with one of them in the next chapter. Press Escape to continue playing, or press E to choose Linda's outcome and finish the chapter. This prompt can be disabled via the options menu. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> the Kaplans are asleep. Explore the house for clues about its past. Then whisper your decision to Dan. Press E to continue. Okay. By playing carefully and learning the desires of more than one character, you've earned the ability to find a compromise with any character you didn't spook in the previous chapter. You can only select one character for a compromise. Press tab to view possible compromises. Explore house. It's a notebook. Well, I can only choose one. From the desk of Harold Baxter, January 15th, 1948. Mr. Laurie finally gave in and agreed to let me inspect the house. I believe he. He simply grew tired of hearing me ask, although I think deep down he knows I'm correct. A property like this simply doesn't change hands every year or two without a reason. I noticed the pattern when I was cleaning out old files and this house kept coming up. It's changed owners seven times in the last thirteen years. I began digging, and not a single one of the sales was financial financially motivated. People just seem to keep deciding that they'd rather live somewhere else. Which doesn't add up in my mind. 
The view is striking. The isolation and privacy alone make it a great property. The remoteness can't be an issue. Certainly no one who can afford this kind of home needs to work for money. It's a mystery, but that's why I'm here. Is this the home? Oh! Was I even in here? Oh, I'm an idiot if I, if I was. Mommy's new picture. You ugly kid. New house is cool. Well, the view is nice. Look at this place. No, oh, I, I mean, I know it's a rental, but still. Tell Tommy, ideas for a second one. Just keep at it. Time together. So, she got happy. And now she's thinking ideas for a second one, like a second kid? Desk of Harold Baxter, January 16th, 1948. Standing in the kitchen drinking coffee and admiring the view, I simply don't understand it. Who wouldn't want to see this every morning? That appears to be the great question of 451 Timberline Road. I slept very well last night. It's a good thing the previous owners left the house furnished. It was just about as quiet as anywhere I've ever been. The only sounds today are the ocean and a few birds. I finish breakfast. After I finish breakfast, I plan to begin my inspection. Later, I was inspecting the upstairs walkway to make sure the railing was sturdy when I saw something odd downstairs. I'm not certain I can describe what it was, and, I'm, and I've already talked myself halfway out of thinking it was anything at all. It was probably just a trick of the light coming through the, those big windows. Like, is he, like, writing, like, a, like, a mystery? Is that what this is? It's like a, a horror mystery? <clears throat> I hope so. I'm liking it, if it is. Or if that's, like, some weird real-life thing. Well, real-life video game life. A lot of crumpled up shit. Oh. Whisper your choice to Zan. I'm gonna whisper it. Whisper. Whisper, 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 whisper. Why is she doing this? Next night, Dan surprised Linda by grabbing a bottle of wine and asking her if she wanted to drink it and catch up after they got Tommy into bed. They put on their favorite Miles Tanner record and cuddled on the couch, laughing and catching up before... Okay. I'm satisfied. Dan couldn't get past his writer's block. He laid awake for three nights trying to think a way out of his jam, but couldn't come up with one. He had to stay on schedule so he forced himself to write a scene just to keep moving. He hated each word as he typed, but he had no choice. Sorry, Dan. I'll fuck the kid. Dan's mind was elsewhere when Tommy tried to get his dad to play Race and Roger with him. Linda found Tommy trying to play the game by himself after dinner. She sat down and played a few games with him to cheer him up, but she could tell he really wanted to play with Dan. What a loser. Full 
whole house. <sighs> the Tanners. A friend of Dan's was coming to visit. <laughs> now, I think I am all possessed out. A half hour is almost over. And... Maybe... I don't think it's any fault of this game. But I really want to play some Dark Souls 2. <laughs> but... Um... I do like this game. Uh... There's not much to it. Uh... Gameplay wise, I think this is more of a story. Uh, very much a story driven game. Um, I'm sure it's probably gonna tell you through your emotions a little bit. Uh, but I would recommend it. I don't know if I recommend it at the full price because I only played it for a little bit. And there's the timer. And, but if you could find it on sale, I'd probably tell you to pick it up if you like uh, story different games, little adventure games like this. Oh, well, it's not really an adventure game, but if you like Gone Home, something like that, looking for clues about people's lives, that kind of thing. Uh, well, that's going to be it for me. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like, comment below, and subscribe, and I will see you later.